Away from election marches, remarkable national leadership is the ability of a leader to galvanize the totality of a nation around the common national banner or the vision and sense of mission. Now, those were the words of former Transportation Minister Rotimi Ameji while delivering his keynote speech at the Niche Annual Lecture, which held in Lagos today. While lauding Nigerian nationalists who fought for the independence, Ameji said genuine nationalistic leadership transcends ethnicity. Plus, TV correspondent Love Ikuku Oyedokun was there and now reports. It's the niche annual lecture. Fourth in a series, the yellow event looks at the issues bedeviling the nation, from economy to politics and how the country's democracy has thrived. Ikechuku Amechi is the managing director and chief executive officer of the niche. He said the lecture was organized to get various opinions that would shed light on why Nigeria's enormous potential is not realized. Nigeria is at a crossroads, no doubt, children on the brink. All the indices of human development without any exception are pointing south. Yet everyone had hoped on the eve of the 2023 general elections that Nigeria was on the cusp of a new beginning. So, why is Nigeria always striding and sliding? Themed, we stride and slide. Leadership, nationalism, and the Nigerian condition. Former Transport Minister Rotimi Amechi took to the stage. He painted a gloomy but candid reality of why the country is where it is today. The reality of today confront us with some inconvenient groups. Our democracy has alienated the people. Government, even at the local level, is detached from the people. Our electoral system has further alienated the people by its serial compromises. In all of this, the national elite has failed to strike a consensus on the critical minimum needs of our society. Because they themselves are alienated and compromised. The former governor of River State took a swipe at the elite whom he said only raised issues to suit their interest. He declared that Nigeria is still in search of national leaders, stressing that the country's democracy needs serious rethinking in terms of scope and focus. The elites only bring up issues that are of interest to them to just achieve the position they want to achieve for their personal interest. So whatever we do, why? We had a president that's an elder who is busy abusing everybody. He was the utmost person shouting resource control, resource control. He got there, he controlled and got the university. Dr. Uma Eliazu is the chairman of the lecture. He said that in spite of all the problems the country is facing, the future generation still has hope. He, however, believes that men and women of goodwill must make all the necessary investment of time and energy to build lasting values within the next generation. We can be blaming each other from now to eternity, that won't solve the problem. The problem is a change in mindset. The hope that I have is that if we start changing the mindset of the next generation of people who will become politicians, we can make it. There was a consensus among discussants and participants that the issues can be remedied if leadership issues are tackled. The refusal to name names, punish, is why we are where we are and why we're talking about the Nigerian condition. We cannot continue in leadership to continue to look at the other side and continue to, as it were, um, romance the, the wicked and expect things to be all right. Talk about Afeli Ferrer and Pade Banjo. He's a Yoruba man. Talk about, you know, Dele Farotimi. He's a Yoruba man. Talk about David Hunde. People who come from a particular ethnic group and supporting the other. So we shut out those myths about ethnicity. Let's keep emphasizing on this positive so that as we make progress, we get to where it becomes nothing going forward. As far as I'm concerned, I believe that ethnicity Highlight of the event was the induction of the keynote speaker, Rosimi Amechi, and Dr. Uma Eliazu into the Niche Hall of Fame. Love Ikuku Uyedoku, Plus TV News. 
Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.